Hi guys, today we're gonna talk about split step. Hi guys, welcome back to another 10 Fitment video and today we're gonna talk about split step. Throughout my coaching career I've been working with uh, many many different level of players starting from the young players to adult to amateur players definitely including the pros and what I've noticed especially for the club players levels and players who are improving and trying to get to some higher level usually what they're lacking is not so much related to the technique forehands or backhand definitely there is always room to improve but usually I always see the same issue with this level of players and that is the basic the fundamental part of tennis that is the movement and the preparation for each shot the split step so the most common thing that is happening on the tennis courts when you see some players who are not professionals you will see they are playing they hit the forehand and then they hit the back end you don't see any split steps you don't see any preparation any active movement between the shots this is what we're gonna to cover today and I'm gonna to explain to you guys how important this is and how you can learn it, work on it and definitely raise your game to the next level only thanks to the correct split step. It's very simple, I'm not inventing anything new you can just watch any of the pros being in a match you can watch on the YouTube, the slow-mos or real-time videos you will see. every single shot no matter is it return of serve the ground strokes the volleys everything will start always with a split step so let's get into it so we're going to talk about three different elements or parts of the split step the number one will be the timing of the split step number two will be the technical aspect of the split step and number three will be the physical aspect of the body itself and of the activated muscles during the split step itself. So number one, maybe the most important part in this video is the timing of the split step. So when I watch the club players, the ones that are actually doing the split step, 99% of the time they're doing it in the wrong moment. Even though that is a very small time frame difference from the correct split step, it really affects the shot and the game itself a lot. So, what is the correct timing of the split step? The most common mistake is that people do the split step when the opponent hits the ball, they initiate the split step. That is too late, already way too late. We need to initiate the split step before that. So, I would recommend when the opponent starts to swing and starts accelerating the racket towards the contact point, then you initiate the split step so that when they touch the ball, you're already in the air and descending towards the ground so that you can explode in the right time and of course you will have enough chance to read the ball and then go to the right side. Again, we initiate a split step before the opponent touches the ball so that we are in the air when they have the contact with the ball we can land and then we can explode the second element of the split step or the second part today we will cover is the technical part of split step the basic fundamental split step is always taught as a jump like this 
with the landing on both feet simultaneously. This is okay for understanding how the split step works and it's just a small jump. If we want to get this to the next level, we need to make a slight change, which will be the landing itself. We will not land on two feet together, but we will first land on one foot depending on where the ball is coming. So this is why the timing is so important because if we do it in the right time, we will always be able to see the ball while we are in the air so that we can adjust which foot goes down first according to the ball. Let's say I'm doing the split step on in the right time and I see the ball will come to my forehand. I will always land first with my left foot or the exterior foot because I'm going this side. This will be my exterior leg. So I will land with this first and then I will go there. think about this as just having a small difference between the landing of two feet we're not gonna do it too drastically but we're gonna do it very slight change with a very slight difference in time so like this you can try yourself and you can see it as all the pros do most of the time it will be like this I get the ball on the back end, I will land first on the exterior foot. So I will demonstrate forehand and back end. Let's say for the forehand, it looks like this. Back end. The third element that we will cover today is, as I mentioned, the physical aspect of our body and the muscles and what is actually happening when we're doing a split step. The sports science is amazing today and what they are able to discover really can give you a lot of insights in what's happening inside and how you should think about some of the elements of the sport and in this case the split step. So what they discovered is as we are doing the split step and as we are about to land, especially with the pros, the muscles in their legs, especially the calves, get activated before they land so that they are already prepared to explode. In case of me getting the back end and then I'm gonna land on my right foot, when I'm already in the air and before I land, my right calf will get activated. If I have a right approach and if I'm prepared, which will enable me to explode there faster and execute the shot in the right way. I found this very, very interesting and it's kind of giving you a right direction or approach and how you should think about the split step. It's like being prepared to go for the shot before you're landing on the ground. So before you're there, you will be already prepared to go for your shot. Right? In my mind, I'm already there, I'm already going for the shot and I'm just waiting to land and then get there. Just a quick recap of these three very important elements of the split step that we cover today. Number one, the timing of the split step. We want to initiate the split step before the opponent touches the ball, before their contact. So that's usually when they start accelerating towards the ball or also on the serve. When, when the racket starts going up, then you will initiate the split step. So at the moment of contact, we are in the air and starting to descend towards the ground. Number two, the technical aspect of the split step, as we mentioned, the basic is landing on two feet, but the more advanced, we always want to land first with the leg and the foot that is exterior in relation to the which shot we are playing. If we are playing forehand, it's gonna be 
the left foot. If you're playing backhand, it's going to be the right foot. And the third element is a little bit of theory and as the scientists did the research, the muscles in the calves get activated before we land. This is a very, very good way to think about it and having this mindset of being already prepared to go for the certain side before we land to the ground. So we are ready to launch. I hope guys this was helpful to you and that you find it useful in some way and definitely I'm looking forward to hear back from you and to see if this video helped you and if you're improving your split step and if working on a split step helps you to get your game to the next level which I think it must help a lot and definitely if you like this video smash that like button share it with your friends who need to work on their movement on the tennis court and definitely subscribe to our channel we will keep making new videos keep bringing you more and more content related to the technique to fitness to the mental strength we're gonna have a lot of interviews and definitely we will listen to your suggestions and please write them down in the comment sections we are very happy and excited to hear back from you and hear what are your ideas and any advice or suggestions as always we will be glad to make new videos upon your requests so yeah keep working hard keep improving your game work on your split steps and most importantly have a lot of fun i'll see you guys soon in our next video always be able to see the ball while we win, while we win. We always want to land first with the leg and the foot that is exterior in relation to our side of the shot like the ball.